Good morning and happy Monday, fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. This is the morning market preparation video for November 25th, 2019. So, hey, as we head into the Thanksgiving holiday, we have some bullishness going on this morning. You know, I, I wrote in the morning blog this morning that the trade war uh, phase one deals kind of like a pendulum and uh, last week it it kind of swung to the bearish side and the market got a little bit worried about it and then they they spun it up a little bit and it has swung to the bullish side this morning and that's helping to inspire some bullish sentiment here in the market so as that trade war pendulum continues to swing back and forth it just seems like it has um <laughs> everyone's sentiment seems to swing with uh, that pendulum so right now we're on the bullish side of things and we're looking at a gap up open this morning in the market and I got to tell you, the pullback last week really was positive and very, very bullish overall, holding up nicely. This is that eight exponential, that black line, eight exponential moving average. We call that the T line. And the T line, um, we held onto that T line. We crossed down through it three times, but pushed right back up uh, by the end of the day. So this really was a very, very bullish pullback in the market holding up in a nice substantial trend we held on to critical levels of support or important levels of support i should say and we gave maybe just a little tiny time for our moving averages to catch up i don't really think that we've given enough time to really um, well, it doesn't satisfy me so much. I'd like to see those moving averages move a little bit tighter to price. But this morning, the bulls are inspired and we're gapping up this morning. Now, a couple things. First, uh, the um, trade war uh, sp spin um, on this Monday is to the bullish side. And uh, we have... Um, good elections in Hong Kong that really started to inspire the futures up immediately last night and those pro-democracy um, elections as they kind of swept through uh, Hong Kong uh, brought a lot of bullishness into the market during the night so pretty interesting price action here and it looks like we certainly have even though we have a short week and we have a week where volumes will likely begin to, to decline very very quickly on Wednesday we have a um, high probability I think of a market that could stretch out on a holiday week to new record highs so keep that in mind as we take a look at this SPY looking very very strong let's take a look at the diamonds real quick diamonds also very very strong had a little tiny bullishness on Friday and once again holding holding that um, eight exponential moving average staying up here very very strong even though we did have that pullback but that I think that just set up an opportunity to maybe go higher this morning we're looking to gap up here in the um, at the open now one thing I always want to caution uh, folks on is we gap up in a market in the morning open as we head into price resistance of the chart we always want to be thinking about the possibility that we could gap up and find nothing but sellers up there so always kind of keep that in mind I brought this up on this day as we gapped into the new oh um, new high I said be careful of that pullback and then that's exactly what we got not that I was trying to predict that it's just a a, a little bit of experience speaking and we want to be careful not to get caught up in the hype of the morning chasing into that morning gap so let's wait and see after we open whether or not we actually get some follow-through to that buying this morning um, I believe we probably will but um, just be careful not to chase that's the last thing we really want to do in a market like this where we're pushing out so high and our moving averages are lagging so far behind let's take a look at the queues queues also strong this morning looking for a gap up open as you can see looking to pop up in here it's not as strong as the other indexes but it is looking to gap up this morning 
after holding right along its T line there, we actually closed just a little bit below. We struggled a little bit more here in the queues, but we're looking bullish this morning and a little bit of follow through will be important. Of course, if uh, we need to see that follow through even throughout the day, if we see that follow through, we don't want to see that gap up open and a pullback. But right now, bulls seem to be very much in control, remaining in control. And um, I don't see anything here in these charts that would warrant a whole lot of concern that they're not going to remain in control for the next few days. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also gapping up this morning. Now IWM has been kind of a kind of problematic and as you can see um, IWM struggling along a level of uh, resistance here in the chart we just struggling along struggling along but we're holding above this little level of support we've we've bounced off of that a couple three times and so holding in here and this morning we're looking at an ever so slight gap up this morning so all four indexes just looking for that bullishness it would really be nice if IWM could um, somehow figure out how to participate with the rest of the indexes but we are holding above this substantial downtrend break and we're holding just above the price support of those last two highs so we'll want to watch that close if those bulls can finally start participating here in IWM that would be actually very helpful to the overall market if we could get this uh, find some inspiration here for IWM as well let's take a look at the VIX the VIX really showing us um, no fear whatsoever if we take a look at the VIX um, lines on here just to show support and resistance Friday's price action even though it wasn't uh, it was just kind of mixed in there um, there was no fear in the market as a matter of fact fear diminished on Friday and as you can see we're pushing down here into uh, that 12 handle we could easily on this morning's gap up slip down into an 11 handle here on the VIX now one thing I have to say is that that bothers me a little bit just in the in the idea of the possibility that we could get be getting a little bit complacent which just means we have to stay on our toes if those bulls want to continue to push awesome that's what we want to see let's keep them pushing but we do have to consider that possibility that that little bit of um, complacency could come into play at any time right now there doesn't seem to be any worry about that whatsoever so bulls are in control and remain in control let's take a look at t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and i always plot that on just a line chart friday we had a nice little rally up even though we saw the NASDAQ and we saw the SPY kind of just languishing around flat. Um, T2122 actually had a nice little rally to the upside. Now what that tells us in this gap up open that we still have plenty of room for an upside move. So um, even with the gap up open, we've got a long ways we could run here. And perhaps we're going to get new record highs on a holiday week, which would be um, well, almost novel. Um, that doesn't happen a lot. So a holiday week like um, Thanksgiving and to maybe pop out to new record highs, that would be kind of a cool thing. Now also keep in mind if the bears were to find some inspiration in some way, we still have you know, considerable potential to move lower um, as well. Just keep that in mind. But right now, bulls are, seem to be solidly in control this morning. So with that, let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar going to be um, a little bit light today. We do have the uh, chairman speaking tonight. But other than that, there's really nothing in here um, today to really move the market around. But one thing I would want to point out is with the holiday week, we've consolidated some really big reports 
um, into two days. So pretty big uh, market moving reports and they're going to be slammed into just two days of, of trading. So kind of keep that in mind. We've got a couple of big economic calendar days uh, coming. Um, here in the, this week. Let's take a look on our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, obviously earnings are starting to wind down, but we still have um, several. In fact, tomorrow we have a pretty big day of earnings reports. Today about 31 companies reporting earnings. Um, like PanW, PanW will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, A is reporting today. AMBA, reporting today um, so kind of keep those in mind pbh also reporting it looks like it's already gapping up this morning um, reporting so kind of keep those um, stocks in mind as we move forward they probably are not going to provide a whole lot of influence because we're they're not the big um, they're not the big market moving type earnings reports but um, certainly as long as they remain bullish we're we can have that inspire us higher here as well so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i want to wish you great profits in your trading one of the things we we'll want to pay attention to this week is the potential and the likelihood that volumes will begin to drop and it probably won't happen until after the morning rush on Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, we'll get all those economic data points and we're likely to see volumes will really start to diminish sharply after that as traders begin to head out for their holiday. So I just wanted to bring that up and I wanted to let everyone know about the schedule for right way options this week. Obviously open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, we will be closed Thursday and also the partial day on Friday um, going to be closed on Friday. So Thursday, Friday, there will not be a morning market prep video and right way options will be closed. Uh, there just won't be too much of anything going on and the volumes will be so light it'll be kind of worthless to be standing around staring at a chart wiggling around so um, closing for those two days now also keep in mind Monday and Tuesday of the following week um, we'll probably see volumes start to come up pretty substantially by Tuesday but Monday could also be a rather weak volume day just as traders extend their holiday um, extend their vacations out and everyone's traveling back and forth between home and work so kind of keep that or wherever they travel to on their holiday um, holiday uh, trips so keep that in mind that we could have kind of funky price action for uh, the end of the week and into uh, the following so watch that close so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day and and um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you guys could do me a favor, click on that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up to make sure you're notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to predict, it's not to provide a whole bunch of hype it, um, like you might see in other places. What this video is intended to do is to help you focus on the technicals of the charts, the price action in the charts. I am a true believer in price action trading and that price is the most important thing to be recognizing and following. And it's so easy to get caught up on um, Monday mornings uh, you know if you happen to be watching the news and all the drama that they kick up on the day it's very very easy to become tainted by that information and not have a good clear focus as you approach the market for the day and that's really what these videos are for no prediction no hype any of those kind of things and if you find that to be helpful to you please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also make sure and, and leave a brief comment if you believe the video is worthy and i truly truly appreciate that for everyone thank you very much and the folks that continuously do that, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. You're, um, you mean the world to me. Um, thank you. Um, no, I'm, I'm humbled every day by your comments. It means, means a lot to me. Thanks a lot.
So let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up. Now, before I do, I want to just make the mention, as I always do, that um, any of the charts that I show you in these videos are not meant as a recommendation to buy or sell any security. They are charts as part of the education and things that I do. And if you find something interesting in those charts, put them on a watch list, watch them closely, evaluate those trades for yourself and see whether or not they have some merit for your trading. So let's take a look at some charts that um, I think are interesting and could be setting up. I'm going to go to what I call my naked chart here. And this is where I make 99.9% .9 of all of my trade decisions I, um, based solely on price action of the chart. And, and that's worked for me, um, kept me in this business full time for nearly 15 years now. Let's take a look at a few charts setting up. CTL. CTL is pretty interesting here. And as you can see, I've actually placed a price alert on this chart. CenturyLink holding up pretty well. And as we continue this trend, um, we may just continue to slip sideways here for just a little bit. Slip sideways right over here. And we want to watch because we tend to respond off of these trends pretty well. So let's keep an eye on CenturyLink. One thing we do have to remember always is that there's price resistance out here that the chart is dealing with as well. So keep that in mind. Always make sure you look at the entire chart. Don't just trade the hard right edge. Let's take a look at Oracle. Oracle made a push on Friday, was unable to hold that. And you can see Oracle has been moving up in this nice little trend, moving up strongly here. And if that can continue um, this move, we may continue to consolidate over toward the trend over here before we go. But it's also very possible. The reason I have a price alert placed on that chart is charts can sometimes change the trajectory of their trend. So I'm watching this here as we deal with that price resistance to see if we can get that bullishness coming into that chart and maybe pushing Oracle on up to the upside. So keep an eye on that. Coca-Cola is a chart that I trade a lot. I, I, I trade Coke a lot. They're relatively cheap options and relatively easy to trade. Coke is still in an overall downtrend. This is not a healthy looking chart at the moment. But one thing I will say it, um, in this chart that's kind of interesting is that the, we've pushed back up and as of Friday, we're kind of holding right here around this support level. I would need to see some bulls push this on through to the upside and to make that work. It still has some questionable um, uh, price action in here that it has to work through but just something to keep an eye on coke may be coming back around here we'll have to wait and see um, on that chart take a look at ge ge has been holding up really really well after breaking through this major resistance area in the chart now i can't tell you exactly where the trend is here in ge because you can see if i mark this off there's a trend that comes all the way back to there. And it is certainly possible that G could, could consolidate or even pull all the way back to test this level of support before it has an opportunity to go on higher. But I've placed this price alert on the chart just in case this decides to change that trend trajectory and really start moving up sharply here. So watching this pretty closely, and you can see we did pop through on uh, Friday, but pulled back by the end of the day. We'll just have to keep an eye on G, see if it can actually get moving in that chart. How about MLNX? MLNX pushing against a resistance level in this chart, holding it a nice trend in here and just pushing 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 against that resistance level i'm watching this chart for the possibility of that popping through and by the way you don't have to actually buy the pop out when it pops we can still wait on that trade there's no rush to get into trades a trending chart is going to trend for a period of time and um, we usually don't have to chase or hurry into that trade so you could choose to catch this on this pop out and as you can see i have a price alert up here looking at maybe doing just that pop catching it as it pops out but remember it could also pop out pull back find support and then go on up so there's no rush into a trade like this but keep an eye on mlnx 
been keeping an eye on Costco, and even though it has pulled back, was thinking it was going to pop out and break in here. Just couldn't get its mojo going uh, to get that done um, with a little bit of bearishness on trade that we had going into the end of last week. And so as you can see, we're pulling back and we're coming close to testing this bigger upside trend. Let's keep an eye on Costco. It may slip and fall and, and trip itself up and fall right out of, out of grace here. And that's okay. Um, I don't care. I really don't care. What I need to see is those bulls starting to step back up in here. And if they were to step up and handle this pretty well, move up in here, maybe a higher low and get that thing going, there may be some opportunity. So keeping an eye on it, but not holding my breath for that trade at all. Intel is another chart that I think has some pretty interesting potential here. Moving up in this trend, um, basically up in this channel, testing resistance right here in the chart. And as you can see, that resistance is doing its job and we just continue to chop back and forth, back and forth in this chart. Let's keep an eye on this because eventually this may resolve itself finally and pop on out. Could be some nice upside opportunity in um, Intel if that is the case. So watch that one closely. Cisco is one that I'm watching for a potential short trade. And as you can see, Cisco gapped substantially lower on its earnings. And it's been testing this level of support right in here. Um, and really not not doing all that well with it. Now keep in mind, it may have to just consolidate this a little bit more. We really don't have a clear defined trend on this. Uh, you know, it's obviously down, but there's no clear defined trend line um, in this chart. And just notice if we were to lose support right in this area, we could easily drop down into these levels pretty quickly. So keep an eye on Cisco. Cisco might be that chart you're looking for if you're thinking short. Um, other places is that you may look for a potential trade, there's lots of bullishness right now in um, financial sector stocks. So take a look at BAC. Now BAC I think this is substantially bullish, breaking through this resistance high in here, holding it as support, and as you can see, follow through on uh, Friday. Now, uh, full disclosure, I actually own this uh, chart, and I'm holding this position here in BAC just to uh, give you full disclosure on that. But as you can see, maybe moving up in a trend right along here, we'll have to watch and wait. And if you take a quick look this morning, it looks like we're gonna gap up a little bit here on BAC. So looking pretty darn good and something to keep an eye on. So with that, everyone, I'm running over time here, but with that, everyone, I hope you find something in those uh, to maybe put on a watch list and maybe provide you some help in uh, finding some trades. And with that, I want to wish you all a great day. We'll see you all right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. And I um, want to remind everyone, if you, if you are taking off uh, for your holiday early, um, uh, travel safe. We wish you well, and we will see you all when you return. Everyone take care. Have a good one. We'll talk to you bright and early Tuesday morning.